Okay, so Primrose Poll. Um, I'm interested in tips on how to put on weight healthily without resorting to junk food. So good fats, high calorie food supplements may be an unusual question, I know. Well, it is unusual because most obviously a lot of people tend to find that they have trouble losing weight. Um, but if you have trouble putting on weight, make sure there's no underlying cause for that trouble. You know, make sure your thyroid's not going 10 to the dozen. You might just have a very fast metabolism. <clears throat> so just check that there's no underlying cause for why you're having trouble putting on weight. And then the thing to do is, you know, what you want to work out is your expenditure, energy expenditure. Are you really busy running around? Are you very like raw person? Who Then you need to try and make sure you're putting in more energy than you're expending because then you will gain weight, obviously. Um, yeah, and so don't eat junk food. <laughs> eat, because um, you'll just end up, yeah, don't eat junk food. Just eat, um, so things like, you know, adding olive oil and flaxseed oils to things are good. You know, if you have a smoothie, um, try you could try some Oreo protein smoothie, that would be a good bulky one, but put some coconut oil in there. You know, things, oils are very good. They're fantastic for you as well. So avocado is a great thing. Nuts and seeds are a great one, you know, just to eat graze on all through the day. Make sure when you're eating food, you're eating a complicated carbohydrate protein with good fat meal. So um, protein, I don't know, it doesn't say that you're vegetarian or not, but you know, things like oily fish are fantastic. Um, you know, any lean meat, chicken's great. Uh, make sure brown rice, you're eating brown rice. Uh, what other ones? You know, um, things like buckwheat are quite a bulky grain. Um, because basically you just want to make sure you're, you're building up slowly in the same way as when you lose weight, you don't want to do it really fast. You want to bulk up slowly or bulk up, you know, put weight on, it's not bulking up. Um, and then, yeah, I think things like a protein shake with some oil in it, um, through two, maybe one or two a day would be, would be really good, but just do it gently, do it really gently. But I think it's important to work out what energy you're spending because a lot of, sometimes we have a bit of a skewed image of how much we actually eat. So maybe you're not actually eating as much as you think you are. Um, so see how you go with that. Um, and then lastly, Liz Spellman said, I'm wondering if there's a different nutritional value for food, to food pureed in a Nutribullet or juiced. So the nutrition, yes, there is, there is. Um, when you puree something, you have the whole fruit or vegetable in it. When you juice it, you take the pulp out. So what you're losing, number one, and quite importantly for, depending what you're using your juices and smoothies for or pulp puree, uh, you're losing all the fibre, or not all of it, you're losing some of the fibre. You still have some insoluble fibre in a juice, but you're losing a lot, the majority of the fibre, which you need to help the movement of waste through and out. Um, it's really, really important. It helps bind cholesterol, it helps get hormones out. You know, it's really, fibre's really, really important. So you're losing that straight away. Um, you tend to have more um, pieces of fruit or vegetable in a juice. So on a phytonutrients level or vitamin, you're, that's sort of being boosted in the juice just because you're using more produce. But then um, you're just, you know, but on the, on the that could be a downside because it costs more because you have to have more stuff. Um, but then on pureed food, the other thing that you have to remember about pureed food actually is as well, is that if you're pureeing it and you're not cooking it, um, it, it's got everything still in there because even if you have water in it and you puree it, the, it's all, you know, it's like, a, it's like a thick soup, isn't it? So you've still got everything in there. So, you know, everything's intact. So I think on the, I think the fibre thing is quite a big thing. Um, it means it's slower absorption, it, it's better for your blood sugar levels, um, whereas if you have a juice, it's just going to have a higher concentration of vitamins and minerals because you've used more to make the right volume of liquid. So I hope that answers that question. I would say that both are really good, and I would say, you know, you can do either or, but just make sure with juices, as I've said many times before, just be careful with the sugar. So if you're having a fruit juice, make sure you have something to slow it down, eat it, have it with your breakfast or, you know, whatever, but make sure you don't just have it on an empty stomach, which will cause a sugar spike. Okay, I hope that helps, and, um, well, July, we'll try and actually do in July, so um, I'll do an Instagram scene for when we're ready to do that. Okay, thank you all.